have the privilege of interviewing Reverend Janet Rochester. Welcome, Reverend Rochester. I would like to thank you for your time, for allowing us to learn a little bit about our history. Now, how long have you been in Queen Anne's County? I've been in Queen Anne's County all my life. That's awesome. Now, it's my understanding that you were the first African American to be elected by ballot in all of Queen Anne's County, as well as the first female, whether African American or otherwise, to be elected here in Churchill. Is that correct? That's correct. Awesome. So what motivated you to run? Okay, what motivated me to run was that the town of Churchill was getting a source system and applying for a source system. And in order to get it, they had to annex more land in the town, which was to make the town larger. And in order for that, the town had to have registered voters to vote for the annexation in order to get the source system. And the present commissioner, president of the commissioner, asked me if I would do volunteer work to help to go from door to door to, with a, another citizen to uh, see who was registered voters and see if we could get them registered so that they would be able to vote so the town of Churchill could get public source system. That's awesome. And that's actually quite a feat because it's my understanding that you served as commissioner and then you served uh, as the president of the commission, which is the equivalent to the mayor of a town. Is that correct? Can you tell me a little bit about your that, terms? That's, that's correct. In 1979, I was elected for my first term as commissioner. I served on the board for three years, and that is it's a three-year term. So in 1982, my term came up for me to run again. So I ran again in 1982 and then after that I was elected as the president of the commissioners which the commissioners themselves vote who they want to be as active as the commission uh, president of the commission so in 1982 I ran and how many years did you serve total I served nine years total and of those nine, how many were you the president? Six. Six years. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, here's an interesting article that's in the June 2nd, 1982 Record Observer. The title of the article is Racism Hinted in Election. And I just want to read here um, what the reporters have written. It says, around the small northern Queen Anne's County town, some prominent residents were quick to admit their support for Mrs. Rochester, but reluctant to allow their names to be connected with hers. And here's a quote. We strongly feel we'd like to see Janet get back in, said one businessman. We're behind her 100%. We're going to do something to help her. But he added, don't put my name in the paper. I have a business to consider. What can you tell me about race relations um, at that time? Did you feel any hint of racism? I felt no hint. I know I had a um, Mrs. McDonald, I think. Yes. In the paper there was running against me. But as far as knowing that because I had been those first three years had been treated with honor and respect from the citizens of Churchill simply because I let them know that I was in there not just for the Afro-Americans but I was in there for every citizen who lived in Churchill awesome and whatever their problem was I was there to try to make the problem better so I made a relationship with the other two commissioners and we worked together so I knew not that there was any racism going on in the town of Churchill until that came out in the, the paper. <laughs> saying it, you know. mm -hmm. Absolutely. The paper week. Sometimes yes. we learn a lot, <laughs> even about ourselves when, when we see it in print. That is that is awesome. Now, what would you tell your younger self? Looking back now, if you were to say something to 
let's say Janet Rochester in 1978 when you're about to uh, take that run what what advice or what would you tell yourself I would tell myself that this could have a lot of I would say strength this could be a stepping stone for another generation this could be doors open for a better community this could be a better county I love that. And, and, and when you say this could be a stepping stone, uh, obviously to be the first of something, we, we know that there was segregation. How has integration really benefited the African-American community? I think there has been a lot of doors open. A lot of times we have been scared to step through the door because we cannot see beyond what it is. But first of all, you got to have faith. you got to have trust. And you got to be able to reach out and you got to be able to love all in order to make that step out and, and just don't be afraid. That's that's great advice even for us today. You got to have faith, trust, love and reach out to all. Mm -hmm. um, what advice could you give my generation? Um, as we face adversity or maybe we're trying to. Um, let's say reach across divides and heal some some racial tensions or things what advice could you give this generation today first of all i would give them don't be afraid to step out don't be afraid that you're not going to make enemies because along the way we make enemies but in order to progress and in order to make things better sometimes we make enemies even in our faith walk so in order to step out you have to have that that i'm doing it to make things better so that's what i would tell and 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 and, and go for it that is awesome that is great advice thank you so much for your time today reverend yes. janet rochester